Good morning, Christ Church. It's time for morning prayer for Wednesday. Uh, let's see, the August 25th. And as you can tell, I'm all by myself, except for you can see, I think my dog Scout is with us. Um, and my other dog, Avi, is here as well. So we have a a full complement of, uh, almost a full complement of readers. And I'm glad that you're with us. And let's continue with morning prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. We're on page 79, page 79. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. <clears throat> Continuing on page 80, Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is... Sorry, the earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And we move on to the Venite, the Venite on page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And the psalm appointed for today is a portion of Psalm 119. We're going to do the first eight verses. So verse 1 to verse 8. And you can follow along on page 763, page 763. Happy are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees and seek him with their hearts, who never do any wrong, but always walk in his ways. You laid down your commandments that we should fully keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then I should not be put to shame when I regard all of your commandments. I will thank you with an unfainted heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's see if I can find our canticle that we've been reading over part of the summer. It's called Canticle 19, The Song of the Redeemed, and that's on page 94, page 94. 
O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And <clears throat> the gospel reading appointed for today continues our reading of Mark's gospel. We're on um, chapter 14 now, chapter 14, starting with the first verse. It was two days before the Passover and the festival of the unleavened bread. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to arrest Jesus by stealth, stealth and kill him. For they said, not during the festival, for there may be a riot among the people. While he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard, and she broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head. But some were there who said to one another in anger, why was the ointment wasted in this way? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and the money be given to the poor. And they, they scolded her. But Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you. And you can show kindness to them whenever you wish. But you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the 12, went to the chief priests in order to be, uh, sorry, betray him to them. When they heard it, they were greatly pleased and promised to give him money. So he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we continue with the Apostles' Creed, page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And on page 98, suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and <clears throat> excuse me, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Let's say the call it for the renewal of life on page 99. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the, the night from the day, the day from the night, and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And our prayer for mission on page 100 at the bottom. Oh God, you have made of one blood all the people, the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed son to, to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold and pour out your spirit am among, sorry, upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. We continue our prayers for people that have been affected by COVID-19 and for the doctors and nurses and other medical professionals who are caring for them. And <clears throat> in lieu of our uh, cycles of prayer, um, the world Anglican, sorry, the world cycle of prayer and the ecumenical cycle of prayer and the Anglican cycle of prayer and the diocesan cycle of prayer. I just want to pray today uh, for three groups of people, and we've been praying for them um, at church as well. And the, those three groups are the people of Afghanistan, um, whose lives have been uh, turned over, obviously, and are um, um, frightened and uh, worried about what comes next. Um, and we're praying for our sisters and brothers in uh, Cuba. They've been particularly uh, hit hard um, by COVID and by um, persecution. Um, and so, um, we pray for them, and we've been praying for the people of Haiti who've uh, been affected by um, another uh, earthquake, and they need our prayers as well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let's continue with the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer today. Um, as we usually sign off, uh, I hope that you have a, a wonderful day today, um, filled with joy and blessing. And I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday um, for uh, worship and for fellowship. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.